up until uh, sometime early today when I couldn't get a phone call returned, uh, my expectation was that Speaker Boehner was going to be willing to go to his caucus and ask them to do the tough thing but the right thing. Uh, I think it has proven difficult for Speaker Boehner to do that. I've been left at the altar now a couple of times. And uh, I think that you know, one of the questions that the Republican Party is going to have to ask itself is, uh, can they say yes to anything? Can they say yes to anything? I mean, keep in mind, it's the Republican Party that has said that the single most important thing facing our country is deficits and debts. We've now put forward a package that would significantly cut deficits and debt. It would be the biggest debt reduction package that we've seen in a very long time. Uh, uh, Republican Leader McConnell in the Senate put forward a plan that said uh, he's going to go ahead and give me the responsibility to raise the debt ceiling. That way, folks in Congress can vote against it, but at least it gets done. I'm willing to take the responsibility. That's my job. So if they want to give me the responsibility to do it, I'm happy to do it. But what we're not going to do is to continue to play games and string this along for another eight, nine months, and then have to go through this whole exercise all over again. That we're not going to do. I am confident simply because I cannot believe that co Congress would end up being that irresponsible, that they would not send a package that uh, avoids a self-inflicted wound to the economy at a time uh, when things are so difficult. You know, at some point, uh, I think if you, if you want to be a leader, then you got to lead. Thank you very much. Mr.